I am a huge brownie fan, which is why today we're gonna make my wife's famous chocolate brownie recipe. that are not only some of the best brownies I've ever had, but they're gluten-free and dairy-free, which is mind-blowing. So the resident baker is gonna show us the way. Babe? So I have four eggs in my mixing bowl. Let's beat these so they get fluffy and light yellow. A cup of white sugar and a cup of brown sugar. If you want more of a fudgy brownie, it's a little more brown sugar, but this recipe straddles that line between the two perfectly. Let's beat those again a little bit to mix in the sugar nicely with the eggs. A cup of coconut oil. Yes. So this is what's replacing the dairy in our brownies. It's gonna make the brownie really moist, but also very, very tasty. Next up, I have a cup and a quarter of cocoa powder. Uh, we need to sift it. Ah, see, this is why we brought my wife here because I'm just a lazy baker and I would just dump it all in the bowl. So this is kind of like get the clumps out of the uh, cocoa powder and make it nice and fine, right? Yep. The thing about these brownies is that I honestly ask my wife to make them for me twice a month and I tell her to make a really big batch thinking that I'm gonna freeze half of it but I eat so much the next two days that I don't have any left over. So we're gonna have to start doing triple batches, I think. I have a half a cup of flour. Now you can use any kind of flour, but we're making gluten-free brownies, so this is a gluten-free flour. You can just look for any kind of gluten-free mix out there. I would recommend finding one that has no beans because they tend to have an unpleasant smell <laughs> when they bake. And another thing is uh, look for one that doesn't already have any leavening agents in it right. because your brownies were actually gonna turn into more of a cakey brownie and not so much of a fudgy brownie. We need fudge. We have some vanilla. You can put a couple of teaspoons, but I always put a little extra in there. That's right, a little extra kiss never hurt anyone. And about a half a teaspoon of salt. Salt brings out the chocolatey flavor, and it's a very common ingredient in baking, actually. I don't know much about baking, but I do know that much. Actually, a few weeks after we started dating, I wanted her to bake something so she can kind of prove her baking worth to me. So I told her my favorite desserts were brownies, and what did I do, though? And he sent me a recipe. <laughs> I didn't trust her to make it herself. I sent her a pre-approved Bobby recipe, but she followed it perfectly and they were really good. So there's a big gold star for that uh, achievement. So good job, babe. But these are toasted walnuts, right? These are toasted walnuts. They toasted kind of, are always better. Yeah, they bring out the flavor more, but you can totally do this without nuts, so don't worry about it. Uh, now would be a really good time to preheat your oven to 300 degrees, right? Yep. Perfect. To make sure the brownie doesn't stick to the pan, we can brush it with a little bit of coconut oil. Right. And I'm really curious, are you guys team fudgy or team cakey when it comes to brownies? I'm totally team fudge, but leave a comment below and let me know. We can settle this debate once and for all. And I always like to top it off with some roasted walnuts. And these are gonna go in the oven for about how long? For about 40 to 45 minutes, but make sure you use a toothpick so if the toothpick comes out clean, your money, right? Yep. Perfect. All right, guys, check this out. And I'm telling you, the fact that they're gluten-free and dairy-free is crazy because they're still one of my favorite brownies I've ever had, and I'm considered one of the world's best brownie aficionados. To take it over the top, we're just gonna make it rain with some powdered sugar here from the heavens to my belly. Mm. They're chewy, they're cakey, they're fudgy and I get a little bit of the pop of the walnut, babe. Guys, if you want this insanely awesome recipe, it is below in the description box. Check it out, share it, and what else should I do, babes? Subscribe to Flav City. We're cranking out new video recipes every week for all the children worldwide. And if you want to see more of Desi and I making some food, click the video below. We're making an authentic Bulgarian cold vegetarian soup. And I will see you next week. Until then, keep on cooking.